Okay, lesson 13-5, comparing fractions. You need your fraction flip book in order to do this. So if you don't have it, please get your fraction flip book. You can just pause it and come back. Okay, so when you compare fractions, you decide if one fraction is greater than or less than the other fraction. We can use benchmarks such as zero and one, right? Zero is at the beginning, one is at the end of our number line. And of course we know where one half is, okay? So if we wanna know if something is less than one half, it's going to be over here. If it's more than one half, it's gonna be over on this side. So that's called a benchmark. It's kind of like as you're growing older and you're, you turn six and then you're not quite six and a half yet, but then once you get to six and a half, then you're closer to seven. So that's kind of like using a benchmark, that halfway mark, like now I'm six and a half. So from this point on, I'm closer to seven than I was to six. So that's kind of what we're thinking, okay? So these are our little fraction strips. So this is like on your fraction book, like you have one half and one half, and those two halves make up the whole. Then for the third, you have one third, two thirds, and three thirds, and they make up a whole. One fourth, two fourth, three fourths, there should be another one fourth there, and they make up the whole, okay? So use the fraction strips to compare one third and three fourths. So notice they have different denominators, which means we're gonna be in different parts. Either we're gonna be in two different number lines or we're gonna be in different parts of the fraction booklet, booklet. But we have two different denominators, which always means we have to stop and pay attention to that. Okay, so two different denominators. We have one third, which is right here, and three-fourths, which is right here. So which one is greater? Okay, one-third. Oh, I see what they're doing. I'm sorry. Okay, so what we're looking at is the benchmark, okay? So one-third is less than one-half, right? Here's one-third compared to one-half. So one-third is less than one-half. One-fourth is greater than one half. So if, if we're looking at one half as this benchmark, right? We're saying, well, one third is, is less than that. One fourth is more than that. So without even doing anything, I know that one third is less than three fourths because if I'm comparing it to half, one third didn't even make it to that mark and three fourths is past that mark, okay? Um, kind of a long way to do it, but just trying to get you to understand that if this is the halfway mark, this is less than halfway there, and this is more than halfway there, like being six and one-third years old and six and three-fourths years old. Okay. In Miss Adams' class, two-thirds of the students are wearing sneakers, and two-eighths of the students are wearing boots. So the first thing we're looking at is we have two different denominators, which means we need to stop and pay attention. Okay. So she wants to know, are more students wearing sneakers or boots? So let's look at this halfway mark. Okay, there's our halfway mark. Okay, halfway through the one. So, two-thirds is greater than one-half. Two-eighths is definitely less than one-half. So we know that two-eighths is gonna be smaller, right? So, two-thirds is greater than two eighths. We're gonna to point to the small number and our little alligator will eat the bigger number. So are more students wearing, these are the sneakers, that means tennis shoes, sneakers and boots. So are most more students wearing sneakers, tennis shoes, or are more students wearing boots? So more students are wearing sneakers. All right, Mina and Julie each have the same number of pencils. Two-sixths of Mina's pencils are red, and six-eighths of Julia's pencils are red. Okay, we have different denominators, so we need to stop and pay attention. That means we have two separate number lines going, or we need to look at um, our fraction flip book. Okay, so if you have your fraction flip book, let's do, let's do it this way. Okay, I don't have mine with me at home today, so we're just gonna have to, here's our whole number one, right? And then this is going to be our sixth, and this is going to be our eighth. Okay, so you, you don't you don't have to draw this because you're going to look at your fraction flip book. If you don't have your fraction flip book, then yes, you're drawing this. Okay, so these are the sixth, 
and these are the eights, okay? So this is gonna be six eights that we're looking for and two six. So if we're looking at six, we have to, we wanna divide it into six sections, which means five lines. Which anytime it's an odd number of line that's even, we can make it halfway, okay? So we need five lines, which means that's one of them, so we need four more. So we're gonna divide these two, put two lines over here and two lines over here. That should give us one, two, three, four, five, six sections. That's good. Now eight, eight sections, seven lines. So again, that's an odd number, so I can divide it in half. If I want seven lines, that means I need three over here, three over here, that's six plus one is seven. So I need three lines. So try to cover that because that's just confusing. I need three lines over here, which means I'm gonna cut this one in half and each section in half, okay? Mm, maybe a little over there. I'm gonna cut this one in half and then each section in half. Okay, so that's my eight. So, again, if, I, if you had your fraction flip book, this was so much easier. Okay, so we have two sixths. And two sixths is definitely less than one half, okay? So, less than one half. And we have six eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six eighths is more than one half, right? So which one is bigger, six eighths or two six? How are you gonna fill that in with a greater than, less than, or equal sign? It should be pointing to the smaller number and your little alligator mouth. Chomp, 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 chomp. Gonna eat the bigger number. All right, great job.